Well, hello everyone. My name is Sean Simons and I have sleep apnea. And if you do not know what sleep apnea is, it's when you stop breathing when you're sleeping. Uh, I was tested last year at a actual sleep study. That's a full minute of not being able to breathe, waking up and gasping for air. Now if you had this, or have this, or you know what I'm talking about, it is really scary. Now what I did is I had a surgery done. They cut out the, I'll probably put it right here on the screen, um, and they cut out um, two inches of my soft palate, and they went into my nose and they rooted out a, a nice little passageway where I could actually breathe. And believe it or not, um, I was so used to not being able to breathe in my nose that after the surgery, when I breathed, um, there was so much air going in and out for about a week afterwards I was putting my fingers over my nose because it just felt weird It just felt foreign to have so much air going in and out of my nose And I was actually able to breathe through my nose I, I guess I would have been a habitual mouth breather You know what I'm talking about? The guys that breathe out their mouth all the time They don't ever close their mouth Well, I was one of those folks And... Um, it just felt very foreign after the surgery to, to, to be able to breathe. Um, not only that, but they took out my little uvula back there, so I don't have a little one of those dangly things anymore. I don't know if you can see or not. No dangly thing. It's completely gone. So, it took out two inches back there, rooted out my nose, and it, I went from like an extreme case to very severe and I can breathe fine, and to me I can sleep fine, but they say that I'm still severe, and I tell you what, the, 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 the amount of air coming in in my, in my nose and into my lungs is just tremendous, and this is still not normal? Crazy. So they have me on a CPAP machine, and the CPAP machine here uh, is what I, this is what I sleep with every night, is uh, with this mask on. Now they do have the little nostril masks and they have the little uh, thing that fits over your nose. Um, I opted after trying all the other ones to have a full face mask and the reason being is because the small ones they work alright but when I fall asleep um, I, I guess my mouth opens up, I relax and all the uh, forced air that goes into this mask goes in, went in my nose and right out my mouth um, and it just didn't work so this is what I use now it actually covers both my mouth and my nose so I'm able to sleep now what this does it actually forces air into your lungs um, the science behind this is if you have force uh, air force going into your lungs you'll actually be able to breathe in and uh, it really does work and the difference from wearing this and not wearing it is crazy I mean it just feels like when I don't wear this it feels like there's a um, an elephant on my chest when I wear this with the force of air going in it actually feels like I, I don't even know how to explain it I, I, I suppose it makes me feel normal and if you can breathe normal in your nose and you have no problems with sleep apnea and you sleep fine, this probably makes no sense whatever. But if you're overweight like I am, and even though I don't look overweight, the doctors say I'm overweight, crazy, uh, I need to actually lose 35 pounds. I need to be under 200 pounds and I'm 6'2". And uh, the doctors say I have to be like 195 and I weigh 230, 235, right around there, so um, yeah, apparently I'm overweight. I guess I carry it well. Or maybe I don't, because I cannot sleep without this thing. Um, snoring before the surgery. Loud, apparently. I never heard it. I, I slept fine, but apparently people that were trying to sleep around me could hear it, so the, the surgery actually helped with the snoring. Um, I don't snore like a freight train anymore, and this actually helps me sleep through the night. 
Now, um, it's really interesting how this thing works. We'll take a look here at the machine. Okay, this thing has a couple of settings here. It has a heat setting, a ramp setting, and an on setting. What you do is you fill it up with distilled water, and you can turn this on heat, which will actually heat the pad underneath there and heat the water so as the air is pumped through the hose and into the mask, it's actually heated, which is quite nice during the winter time. Um, you turn it on, and it's running right now. I don't know if you can hear it on this, but it's relatively quiet. And if that's too high for you, you can actually put it on ramp. And what ramp does actually forces out the air at a lower rate. So you can actually go to sleep with a lower rate of air pumping into your face, which can be kind of claustrophobic at first. But once you get used to it, you just can't imagine sleeping without it. So ramping actually just forces the air at a slower rate for about 20 minutes and gradually brings it up to the forced air that your doctor prescribes. Yes, the doctor actually prescribes a certain airflow for you. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll um, put this mask on and show you how I sleep and um, um, show you how fun it is to sleep with a CPAP uh, mask on.